Hey, hey, all right, all right, check this out, man. Let me turn that off, man. All right, look, man. It's raining outside, right? So I found the uh, LA Fitness over here. I'm on a. Uh, I have no idea where I'm at. Anyway, I'm about to go in there and bang out some deadlift. But look, before I do that, man, I want to tell y'all this crazy, crazy uh, ride share story. I don't. It don't matter which. A uh, lift. It was lift. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all this crazy ride share story. All right, it's six o'clock in the morning, right? First of all, I get a text from Lyft the night before saying, uh, pick up three rides, we'll throw in an extra $12. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, cool, man, you know. Uh, between the hours of um, 5 and 7, you know. So I'm already up probably by 5 anyway. Um, so, you know, I get up, handle my bed, and I turn it on. Bling! Before I can turn it on, good, right? So I'm going, I'm going to knock these three out and then head on to work. <laughs> Check this out, man. I get over the, it's a, it turned out to be a, a girl. I can see the picture of who uh, who it is uh, on Lyft for some reason. I don't know why I can't or why I don't do it on Uber. Anyway, uh, a nice looking young girl, a young lady. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, me is all about safety. So I'm like, well, this can't be harmful at all. This got to be safe. And it's dark, and she in a trailer home community. I get over there. Let me tell you this, man. I get over there. Uh, it was hard to find. I found the found. She called me, told me what she. Had. I get over there. This little chick. I got a minivan, right? You can see all this room, right? I got stuff in here. Uh, this little chick, she gets uh, all this room in here, right? She uh, opens the front door and just jumps in. You know what I'm saying? Like she been knowing me for years. She just jumps in. Ooh, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, let's go. So, you know, keep in mind, Liv, I don't know where we're going until I swipe that I pick you up. I'm also... You know, reminded that this is a three ride promotion. You know, finish the three ride and you get twelve dollars. I'm thinking that shouldn't take no more than thirty or forty minutes to bang out three quick line rides. So I swipe the thing, bam, Marietta. That's like an hour away, a long drive. I'm going, damn man, it got me, man, it got me. So you know, you committed at that point. You gotta do what you gotta do. So <laughs> I, like I say, she jumps in the front. Don't know me, ain't never seen me before in her life. Look, man, I get cautious when I see that you are not cautious enough. See what I'm saying? When you're not, <laughs> I'm already, you know, in safety mode, panic mode, you know, whatever. I don't know who your next, you don't know. It's like football. Your next play can be your last play. It's the same thing. Your next pickup can be your last pickup. You never know, man. So I'm always on a on cautious level. Like I say, and I get super cautious when I find out you're not cautious at all or you're not cautious enough. Now, this little thing, lady, like I say, she jumps in the front. Now, I found out why she jumps in the front. She got to use the uh, the sun visor. She got to use the sun visor with a mirror and do her thing. Turn out, she's just starting a brand new job, and she don't want to be late. Now, granted, it's going to take an hour to get there, so I assume she timed it out. But anyway... Soon as she got in the car, man, that aroma hit me. Bam! Good God, what? It's six o'clock in the morning, and she's smelling like straight perk weed, whatever the hell y'all call it these days, man. That good, good. I don't know what y'all call weed. Weed, the word, the name weed doesn't change so much. I don't know what it is. Perk weed, good, good. I don't know. Just the oh my goodness, I'm like. Dang, girl, it's still dark. It's still early in the morning. Did you even go to sleep at night? I, I don't know her. Like I say, keep in mind, I don't know her. She like, and the first thing she do is look at me, you know, like this. Oh, my God, you can smell it. Hell, yeah, I can smell it. I mean, I don't know. I, I, that, when you're not used to that aroma being in your system or being around that type of stuff, when it hits you, it hits you. So I got high just sitting next to her. And that ain't the worst part of it. Let me finish telling you the story, man. Turn out this chick on her way to start a new job. She just got a job, and this is her first day. So, like, again, that's why she jumped in the front to use the sun visor mirror. So she doing all this, putting on her thing, just spraying cologne perfume everywhere, doing all this. I didn't know women do that thing and get killed or older. Look, she had a little thing of spray concern. This help her open her mouth <laughs> like that. Did you just put cologne in your mouth? She's trying so hard to kill that smell because she didn't think I smell it or she didn't think, you know, the aroma was that loud. Turn out, they, I guess when you do this stuff, you are on it or around it so much 
that you don't know. You can't tell you've been doing it or something. I don't know. So look, man, let me finish, man. So we start the trip. I'm driving. I'm like, she's just gone, boy. Just in the mirror, just eye shadow. She don't know me. Now in the front row with a total stranger, just kicking it, boy, just killing it. Try to talk. I turn the radio up. Now, I'm, again, I got the window down trying to keep from getting high or whatever that stuff do to you. But, and then she had the nerd. Uh, she found dug deep in her first purse and found some more aroma or good smelling stuff. So she shoots it on her, right? And she had the nerd to look at me and say, smell that. She put it up in my nose. I'm like, no, I'm not smelling that. Again, I don't know you. Look, man. When somebody asks you to uh, smell something or inhale something to see how it smells, do not do that shit, man. That I could be some nerve gas or something. The minute I inhaled it, I could have just... <laughs> I could have been gone. She just took over my car. Mind you, I don't know this little chick. Never seen her before in my life. Small little chick. Easily somebody you can grab. She that size where you can just grab and kidnap or whatever. But she don't care. Not that she don't care. She's not aware of the situation she's in. Obviously, she's high. So we get there. We get 30 miles into the ride. She's still going with her trying to kill that old. And I heard, I was telling this story to some guys at work. I heard that makes it worse. Well, anyway, like I say, man, she put something up against my nose and asked me to smell it and see how it smells. I'm like, no, it smells good. I just lied. I did not inhale it. It could have been safe. I don't know. God, do not inhale something you don't know what it is. Like I say, it could be some nerve gas and mess with your your neck. And you just, just pass out. And she just take over your car and go. <laughs> no, man, that is one of the funniest. We finally get to the place. We get there five minutes before. She had to be there on time. It's her first day. So it turned out, she, I guess she got high first thing in the morning. Running late, I get there late because I didn't get there late. It wasn't my fault. Never mind. We I got her there five minutes before uh eight because traffic is hell in Atlanta. But uh, she like wish me luck again. I'm like I don't know you. Just just go, just go. That is one of the funniest. It's not. It's not really funny. It's sad, man. If you got if this is your first day on the job, man. Why are you high? Why are you late? Why ain't you more excited? Why ain't everything was wrong about this whole trip and about her, uh, the way she went about, you know, starting her first day on the job. Find out, like we did talk on the way there, her car, she wrecked her car and whatever. I guess she used insurance money to uh, buy some weed. I don't know. But uh, she was tore up and couldn't wait till she get off to get tore up even more. I like I would not be on this side of town when you off or whatever. You might not even last the whole day, little chick. Look, man, that's one of uh, that's a funny story, man. That, people, riders and drivers, man, be careful, man. You know, <laughs> oh, that's one of the funniest stories I ever encountered. When somebody asked me, was you got any weird ride share stories? That's gonna be one of them. Not the worst, cause I hey, that's been some worst. Like I say, I'm extra cautious, extra careful, man. It's just a little, it's just a little hustle I do, man. Y'all know me, man. man. Y'all know me, man. I got like ten different things going at one time, man. Whatever generates some of this, I'm down with it. You see, what I'm saying this XL ride, baby, man. I could pick up like five or six at a time, take them to the airport. Bam, that's bread. I don't mind doing that. All right, I gotta go, man. I had to make this short, man. I'm at the gym, man. I'm about to. Um, you know, put in some cars right quick. Go in here. It's raining, like I say. So I think I shoot this little video, but I'm about to go in here and bang out some deadlifts. Deadlifts, baby. That's what it's at. Mm. I had a um, um, you know the drill. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. All right, good stuff. All right, how you turn it uh, off?